this. Hi, this is Dr. Jeffrey Hanna at Atlas Health, and I want to show you the one exercise you should never do for your neck. That is this one, pulling it off to the side. Now, I know that it feels comfortable, I know that it feels like you need to stretch something out through your neck, but have a little listen here, because this is really, really important. You, when we're talking about your neck, it's not just a matter of muscles and ligaments. We're also talking about your brainstem and your nervous system, which are going to be controlling, coordinating everything in your body. And so, when you do different movements with your head and your neck, you need to make sure that it's the kind of movement that will not cause injury to those nerves. Now, the way that the top vertebrae in your neck are supposed to move is like this, up and down and side to side and then all of the rest of them are designed to move kind of at little combinations like that, but not a pure side-to-side -side movement like this. So what happens when you start to do a side-to-side -side stretch and things out like that, it's gonna cause each of the vertebrae to lock up against each other, and then it's gonna start leveraging on them, stretching the muscle and the ligament, but here is the problem. It usually ends up stretching the wrong ones. And the result of that is the neck will start to go click or start to feel a little crunchy and all this sort of stuff, which over a long period of time is not going to be good. And that's related to degenerative arthritis, headaches, dizziness, vertigo, all kinds of different problems that you do not want to experience. Now, I get it. You stretch it out and sometimes it goes a little click and all oh, it feels good. It just it loosens things up. Yes, you get a local endorphin kick, and so it feels good. But the problem is that the whole system locks back up. So what you're feeling on the inside is very, very real. But what's happening is you're not able to unlock things on your own. If it was just a matter of me being able to show you, okay, hey, do this stretch, do this exercise, easy. But the kind of problems where people are feeling like they need to stretch things out like this, that's the kind of thing that usually needs that extra little bit of assistance in order to resolve, which is what we do in our particular practice. So, should you be doing this side-to-side -side stretch? No, you shouldn't. What I would much sooner advocate is doing what's called a bobblehead exercise. A bobblehead exercise looks like this. Simply put up and down. That is not going to cause any of the vertebrae to lock up against each other. And in the same time, it's going to be able to take some of the pressure off of the stretch of the shoulders. Think about it when you do it. You want to make sure that you do it sideways. So pulling your head back, neutral like this, and then allowing the nodding movement to be happening here. You do not want it to be happening like this. That is backwards. So you can do the nodding movement up and down like that, and that is it. That will get all the movement through the joints. If there is anything that's locking up a little bit, it's going to help get some movement through there, and it's not going to cause things to go twisty, cricky, cracky, all of that sort of stuff in the neck that, again, you do not want. Now, if that exercise still doesn't do the trick, that is the surefire sign that there's something that's wrong with the alignment and the motion of your neck. That's going to need a little bit more professional assistance. And again, this is what we do all day, every day. But for the interim, what I do want to give you is I do want to give you the right way of doing stretches and exercises that may be able to help on your own. So I hope you found this video to be valuable here. If you did, number one, please like it. And number two is if either yourself or more appropriately somebody you can think of would benefit from watching this video, please add their name, share this with them so that they might be able to find some value there too. Now if you do have any additional questions or anything about what you can do to take better care of your neck, we've given you a few links and different ways then that you can reach out to us. Please feel free to ask us any questions that you might have. This is Dr. Jeffrey Hanna at Atlas Health Australia reminding you, take care of your neck for a better quality of life.